Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy, and in this quick video, we're going to take a glance at the new CyanogenMod mod and Nextbit project. Let's get started. Okay, here's how Nextbit works. It transfers application data from one device to another. Think of it like a mixture of cloud saving and NFC. So say you're working on something on your phone and you want to switch to your tablet. You can use Nextbit to beam over a snapshot of what you're doing and then you can resume what you're doing on your tablet. It uses the recent apps button, which to this point has really only ever been used as a recent apps button. You would long press that button and then the options would pop up to ask you which device you want to shoot this data over to. You select the device, press the button and the application will open open on that device with all of your work intact, ready to go. There appears to only be a few limitations here. You'll have to have the same applications installed on both devices so Nextbit can open the application and put the data in. So if you're like me and you use some apps on your phone and some apps on your tablet, you'll have to switch to using the same apps on both. Now arguably the much cooler aspect of Nextbit is its ability to sync games and applications in the background, which means you don't have to shoot it over to sync apps if you don't want to continue what you're doing right then and there. If you're playing a game on your phone and you want to continue continue on your tablets, you can do that as well. Now you may be wondering what this is useful for, and the answer is practically everything. You can use this to send the contents of your browser to the larger screen of your tablet for easier reading, or you can send it from your tablet to your phone in case you need to go somewhere and you don't plan on taking your tablet. Let's look at it another way and say that you're working on a document. The system in place right now requires you to save the document, upload to cloud storage, download from cloud storage on the other device, open the application, and then find and open the file. This can take a minute if your connection is good and your devices are high end, or it can take significantly longer if one or both of those statements aren't true. In an instance like that, Nextbit saves a lot of time. Like I said at the beginning, this is just a quick look video that I wanted to put together to show you guys how this works. We expect there to be a lot more information about features, usability, and device support, so keep an eye out here at Android Authority because we'll tell you about it as soon as we know more. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.